Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Fab Marketplace video. This video is on the Summer Creator Mega Sale where you can save up to 70% on thousands of products until the 29th of July. So what I'm going to be going over today is just covering the top 10 assets which I found but again there are thousands on here so make sure to leave comments down below to what you think, which ones are your favourites and any others which you found which you think are great to share as well. But without further ado, let's get right into it, starting off with the Story Framework Interactive Template. Now, the best way I can describe this before we get into the rest of it is that think of Life is Strange, and that is essentially what this is. So this single player interactive story game template makes storytelling easy. It is designed exclusively for Unreal Engine 5, and it is incredibly easy to understand, as well as being efficient, modular, and dynamic. So this is a comprehensive and iterative single player framework with a story framework with GASP 5.5 pre-integrated. So this is native first person and third person controls with gamepad integration built in as well. There are also custom interaction frameworks created with the dual method system. So you can have multiple options, meaning more interactivity for the player. There's also a quick time event system in this with customization options all driven through a single function. There is a task system, so a queue-based task or objective framework with functions to add, edit, remove, and hide tasks. There are memoirs, so a memoir menu is also used to track and view players' previous dialogue decisions or game events that happened throughout their story, whether these are small or large. There is also a modular slot-based quick inventory system designed to be easily accessible while keeping all the expected functionality of an inventory such as using, combining, inspecting and dropping items. There's a fully dynamic camera system for both third and first person, a custom sequence manager, saving and loading and much much more. So some technical information of this are there are no event ticks used besides the player camera components. Almost all blueprints are annotated and commented to further explain how these systems function and blueprint communications are primarily done through blueprint interfaces. In total there are 80 blueprints with the input being keyboard and mouse and gamepad and again this is single player so it is not network replicated. Now this is a pretty large project so there is also a documentation page on here as well if you go into the technical details of the marketplace page. Now for how big this is and how much you get in it, it's a pretty good price. The personal license is normally £40, but it's 30% off, so it's now £28. And the professional license is normally £45, but it's now £31. So I think this one looks absolutely great. And next up, we have the Dynamic Trap Systems, which is actually made by myself through my game studio, Copper Gaming. So this Dynamic Trap Systems pack brings you 15 fully customizable trap blueprints ready to use in your game. This pack is a simple drag and drop, no setup required, but you can customize the traps to be unique and unpredictable. So there are currently 15 traps, however we can continue adding more into the future, so let us know any traps that you'd like to see. The traps included in the pack currently are a spike wall, spike ceiling, swinging axe, bear trap, spinning blade, crushing walls, pushing wall, trap door, launch pad, boulder drop, swinging chains, guillotine, gravity trap, landmine and flamethrower. There is also an example map included for you to be able to test out all of the different traps in action as well and some have even been customized to see how easy it is to make unique gameplay elements using the same blueprints. This pack also includes 11 sound effects, 28 meshes, 2 particles, 81 textures at 2k resolution and 25 materials. So the personal license for this is normally £13, but it's 50% off, so you can get it for £6. And a professional license is normally £45, but you can get it for £22. And next up, we have the Watercraft Systems Pack. And this pack includes a Watercraft System, a Watercraft AI System, and a Watercraft Race System. And if you don't know what a Watercraft is, essentially it is basically a boat or a vehicle you can drive on the water, as you can see on screen and in the video now. So again, you've got the three different systems within this. So the watercraft system to start with is basically the main boat. And this includes the movement system, a dynamic animation system, interactive VFX, a user interface system, and an interactive sound system. And again, this means that the player can drive around in a speedboat, 
on a jet ski or anything along those lines that you want to do you can see it on screen with these different boats and these also work perfectly with the waves on a water system as well both with large and small waves it's going to look perfect then you've also got the watercraft ai system which is essentially the ai driving the boats instead of the player so with this system it allows you to control the locations of the spawn points of these ai these spawn points will then spawn random types of boats with random colors which then can create diversity and non-repetition within your scene and within your game just to help keep it looking nice and realistic and feeling better as well because it doesn't just feel the same like you've just put in a load of the same object it's gonna look nice and different you've also got the ability to customize each spawn point separately as well so each spawn point can have different types of boats different speeds different pathings and all that good stuff again just to keep it feeling more fluid and more realistic you can spawn up to 50 boats at the same time without affecting performance now obviously this will vary depending on the computer but when you're optimizing your games you kind of want to aim for the lowest computer for somebody to play on so 50 boats is good for that based on what the developer has said and obviously 50 boats is quite a lot as well you're probably not going to want to have that many in a scene at one time so that should be more than enough and even if you have a really large game and a really big scene you can just have 50 boats active at different areas of the map they don't have to have the whole map active at once and also the boats will move in a circular loop automatically returning to it if they leave it and then the final system is a watercraft race system so this is an ai race system with checkpoints and positions and a race ui as well just to add a nice little bit of fun in there as well so with this whole watercraft systems pack the player can drive around on boats the ai can be driving around on boats as well around the player and then the player can go somewhere and start a race against those ai as well which i think that all sounds great and really fun there's a collision included on the boats within this pack there are 171 unique assets and 16 blueprints with the input being keyboard and mouse and it is important to note that this is not network replicated so this is normally 56 pounds for the personal license but on sale it is 30 percent off so you can get it for 40 pounds and the professional license is normally 60 pounds but on sale for 30 percent off again you get it for 42 pounds so i think this one looks absolutely great and now it is the forest essentials forest environment procedural mountain forest forest so the title there has just has some seo words in it but you can tell it is a forest pack so this is the forest essentials pack which is a comprehensive mountain forest environment asset pack designed to bring your forest and mountain forest environments to life so whether you're building a vast mountain forest landscape from scratch or enhancing your existing forest scenes this pack offers all the essentials to create a realistic and immersive mountain forest experience with 85 unique meshes ranging from forest trees and plants to detailed mountain and rock models this pack offers both variety and versatility optimized with custom generated collision lod's and billboard lod's for trees it ensures your project runs smoothly without sacrificing visual fidelity this pack also fully supports the nanite feature in ue 5.1 and above making it perfect for next-gen development on windows so this features a meticulously designed 4x4 kilometer square mountain forest map perfect for expansive detailed environments photogrammetry assets for unparalyzed realism capturing the textures and details of natural elements a procedural foliage and landscape grass type for easy and dynamic landscape creation and atmospheric fog planes and fog materials to set the perfect mood for your scenes so in total there are 85 unique meshes with automatically and custom generated collision 15 materials and 61 material instances and 163 textures with the text resolutions being 2k to 4k so i think this one looks absolutely great the personal license is normally 71 pounds but it's 50 percent off on sale so you can get it for 35 pounds but the professional license is 266 pounds but on sale for 133 and you can also get this one on uefn for 53 pounds normally but on sale for 26 pounds next up we've got survival locomotion pack unarmed so this product contains 178 high quality character movement animations ready to be integrated into your game including running crouching walking simple parkour and more the animations are suitable for those who want to make AAA quality games in a survival setting so the animations included in this are varying idle animations walking 
slow jog, jog, sprint, crouch and crawl. And you've also got start and stop animations for those as well. You've also got turning, jumping, parkour, which is vaulting and jumping onto an obstacle, as well as transitions from standing to crouching, crouching to standing, standing to kneeling, kneeling to standing, etc, etc. Basically transitions from different animations to other ones. You've also got using first aid kits, eating, drinking, opening doors and taking items, as well as fighting, so punching, blocking, aiming and start and stop fighting. So in total again there are 178 animations, 104 of which are root motion and 74 of which are in place. These animations are specifically for UE5's latest SK mannequin which means it's very easy to then retarget onto your own characters as well. So this one again looks absolutely great. The personal license for this is normally £62 but it's on sale for 30% off for £43. Well, the professional license is £124 but you can get it now for 87 Now it is the narrative navigator, maps, compasses and waypoints. So this offers compasses, world maps, mini maps, 3D position markers and much much more. You can simply add the navigation component to your controller, add your navigation widgets to your HUD and you're all set up. Any actors with marker components on them will appear on your maps. Included in this as well is an event that your quests and dialogues can use to easily add map markers to quest objectives, NPCs, pickups and anything else you want to appear on your map. It's also got built in UI as well so you don't need to create that all yourself and this also works for multiplayer too. So if your replicated actor has a marker component on it, every player in the game will see it on their map. As well as that, this is incredibly easy to customise. So in total there are 18 blueprints in this and 14 C++ classes and this is network replicated. The personal license for this and the professional license are the same price, normally £222 but on sale for 50% off for £111. Next up it is the beach forest ecosystem and that is beach as in beach tree not a beach by the sea. So this pack is based on the temperate broadleaf forest biomes and the beach forest density is made up of beach trees, ferns, butterbirds and rhododendrons. And this pack was created by scanning the full ecosystem. So 3D assets are scanned according to the world scale and the PBR is calibrated. Each 3D asset comes with meticulously optimized polygons, UVs and LODs. Atlases were calculated using 100 different LED light sources and surface scans baked over 200 million polygons. This is a complete kit designed specifically for creating huge yet detailed environments in your Unreal Engine 5 projects. So the technical details and features of this are as 100% scanned assets with optimized materials and up to 8K texture resolutions. There are distance meshes and optimized LODs and billboards. In total, there are 401 unique meshes with these being beech trees, mossy rocks, stumps, logs, river paths, embankments, branches and leaves, twigs, small rocks, and a bunch of different plants as well. There are 13 materials and 55 material instances with 186 textures. And the text resolutions are 2K, 4K and 8K. The personal license for this is normally £160 but it's 30% off for £112 and the professional license is normally £444 with 30% off for £311. Next up is the stylized VFX. So this includes customizable Niagara VFX systems, sound effects and a set of blueprints so you can switch the visual effect with your very own as well. So this features VFX elemental slashes, elemental looping slashes, elemental piercing slashes and elemental projectiles. There's also customizable Niagara VFX systems and customizable VFX selectors as well as sound effects for each visual effect. The type of emitters are both CPU and GPU and there are 67 unique effects in total with 54 materials, 100 material instances and 122 textures. There are 6 blueprints, 9 unique meshes and 50 sound effects. So this one again looks great. The personal license is normally £47 but 50% off for £23 and the professional license is normally £88 but 50% off for £44. Next up it is the old mine tunnel and caves. So this pack contains a library of different cave walls, grounds and spline assets that help you to create caves, mines and tunnels. These assets are combined into blueprints with local fog and post-processor settings for easier editing. 
you're also getting a spline blueprint that allows you to create rails for minecarts. This product also comes with various props like barrels, bottles, supply boxes, sacks, cans, dynamite and more with an example level provided with optimized lighting and a test player controller. So this features 120 unique meshes with 41 materials and material instances and 78 textures with the text resolutions being 1K and 2K. The personal license for this is normally £22 but it's 30% off on sale for £15 and a professional license is only £62 but on sale for £43. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Drivable Cars Supercar. So this pack includes a drivable car with toggleable lights, inside and outside cameras with a zoom and orbit function, turning steering wheel with the driver's hands attached to it, and it's compatible with a third person template game. And this model as well is a unique design so there can't be any conflicts with any car brands as that is usually a big thing when you have cars and games but this is completely fine. It includes three car variations and 27 car paints, including racing, Tron, and police skins. Some new features they've added to the car are a digital dashboard, scissor doors, backfire sound and particles, and brake heating effects. Some other features included as well are entering and exiting the car, toggling the lights, changing the camera from inside to outside. You can zoom and orbit the camera when you are outside, smoke particle systems, interactive car dashboard for revs per minute and speed there are various sound effects you start the engine the revs related engine sound and gear up decay opening and closing the doors impact sounds and 27 custom car paints so this one i think looks absolutely amazing the personal license for this is normally 35 pounds but it's 30 percent on sale for 24 pounds and the professional license is normally 75 pounds but on sale for 52 and with that, I think that'll be it for this video on covering the Summer Creator Mega Sale on the Unreal Engine Fab Marketplace. I hope you did enjoy this video of me covering the top 10 which I found. And again, make sure to let me know in the comments down below any other ones which you think should have been on here and which you think are great as well. But this is also just a good video to remind you that there is a sale on. So if there's anything you've had your eye on for a while, now would be a good time to get it. If you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.